Okay, um, just want to make a video about, I installed this water backup powered sump pump. It's a Liberty pump. It's about $200. Um, my basement flooded, so I decided to, power went out, basement flooded, so I decided to install this. Um, it's fairly simple. It's got a shark bite end on the end. Um, you got to cut the pipe. I have an on-off valve right here. The other thing you want to do is you want to put this one-way um, valve so if there ever is an issue with the water backing up up the pipe it won't go into your drinking water but it's fairly simple it comes right here um, you basically get you know, like a three foot pipe you get a 45 um, I put in three one-way valves actually it might be overkill but I did that so basically the water doesn't back up into either one of the pipes so I got one there from the regular sump one from uh, the backup water powered pump and then I got one here that's going out um, it's fairly easy to do you need this 45 T so you need a 45 uh, T uh, a 45 here a pipe and three valves a shutoff valve and a one-way valve they're shark bites so they're fairly easy to install and I just um, the sump pump has to be about I don't know like four inches above the actual sump um, so it doesn't always turn on, but once the water turns on, it spins an impeller here, um, and then it sucks it up down there, and then it brings it up and out. It's actually a really good backup. I recommend it for everyone, anywhere. I, I'm in Michigan, and we've had a couple power outages, and uh, it's unfortunate because my whole basement is finished, and it flooded. I got this this uh, cheap tiling. It's like, I don't know, buck fifty a square foot, but it's a pain in the ass to replace. So I recommend it for anyone. Anyway, it's a Liberty pump, uh, water-powered sump pump. Hope this helps.